Hi! In part three of this episode of the Eagle Force three and three quarter custom figures I'm making, I've got a couple more figures here that I'm going to do. I've got some up here that uh, I don't have enough parts for, and I still need to find a chest for this guy. So I've got all my parts here. You can see we have Captain Eagle here. And we've got some legs from a core figure. We've got the same kind of pants. Now, I don't want to use the boots from the core figure because I find that the molding of their stuff is a little minimal. And so I thought maybe if I could get these boots. This is from a Joe figure. I can't remember which one it was. It was, it was uh, um, used as a custom years ago. But I'm going to take these boots and see if I can fit them onto these legs. So we've got that, and we got to take this hat and cut that off for General Mamba. I'm going to use that hat for him. And then for Mamba's head, I'm going to be using this head here for Mamba, but I'm going to take the hat off of this and use it for this guy. Uh, you'll be familiar with the name Wild Bill. So you can see where... G.I. Joe got a lot of their names, I think, from these figures. I don't think it's a coincidence that that happened later on in the G.I. Joe line. So we've got all that stuff there. Now, Captain Eagle did come with a eagle, so... I picked up another one of these Kenner Falcons. He's got the bird in there, so that'll be good enough to make it look like an eagle. We'll do some paint work. I am going to not just paint it just black. I'm probably going to give it an eagle um, color, more like brown with the white, like a bald eagle or something. Uh, by the way, they've been making these figures in the four inch line. I can't remember the company that's making them right now. I think they look really cool, but I've always wanted these in O-ring, so that's why we're doing this in case you haven't been watching the other videos. I do recommend watching the other two videos if you haven't watched those yet. So we've got this guy, and then we've got some arms. We've got a right arm here that's got a big glove. Hopefully that'll be uh, the right size for the bird to perch on. We've got a head here. We're going to have to make a patch because... General Eagle or Captain Eagle has a patch there and then with this hat we're going to take that hat and put it on this head for General Mamba we've got a larger size core body here he doesn't have a strap going across it but I actually kind of like that so we'll use that we've got some uh, legs some high boots and some just regular arms so hopefully all those will fit together I know this will fit into here because they're both core figures and then with this hat we're gonna try something we're gonna try to heat up that hat and try to curve the hat to make it look like Wild Bill's hat I now I still need to find a chest for this guy um, I'm going to the shop today and I'll look around my parts bin there. I do have some G.I. Joe parts bins there. Hopefully we can find a chest that's got some uh, pockets on it like that. And maybe a couple grenades. And I'm also going to make a soft goods scarf for this guy too. I do have some arms. I do have a crotch. And I do have some legs here, which I really like. They've got the double holsters with the double guns there and I think that'll look really good I also have some figures over here I'm in the middle of finding the parts for them this guy is almost ready to go this is big bro and uh, the problem is is that I am missing a lot I don't have a lot of heads with the berets on them left actually I don't have any left to tell you the truth so uh, other than you know the beret that I've got for this guy here. Um, we have Zapper, which is another name we're familiar with in G.I. Joe. So I'm, I've am i got lots of parts, but I don't have any berets. So all of these guys are ready to go, 
but they need berets. They even have Red Wing here. I've got all of his parts ready to go, which will be in the next video. I know I could probably buy the parts from the Marauders. They do make berets, but those figures are 4 inch too, and I'm afraid if I buy a whole bunch of stuff from them that none of them are going to be in scale with my 3 and 3 quarter size. I may consider doing that. So that might be my only option, um, but I might have some more beret figures somewhere else. So I'm going to go to the shop. We'll find those. I'm going to take all these apart, get them ready for paint, and I have to cut the hats off the heads for the appropriate figure. So here we go. So here is my room of extra stuff, parts and broken pieces and things that needs to be completed. I'm pretty sure I do have some G.I. Joe figures in here somewhere that are going to be great candidates for these customs. I just have to find them. So roaming through that parts room, I found a bunch of Joes. These are 20th anniversary Joes or 25th anniversary, something like that. I can't remember now if they're, sometimes they're 30 depending on where they came from. But I know that this came out of a five pack and uh, I already have this figure actually sealed in the package. So, and that's on display in my toy room. So I'm going to be using this guy's uh, beret and uh, because I already have him, and this guy isn't complete anyway, so that's fine. I'm going to use his beret, so I'm going to have to cut his beret off. I also have Flint here, and I'm going to be using his beret. I'm going to actually take this guy's beret, uh, cut his beret off, and use it for that other figure that I was using. I think it was a Zap head that was a really small in my last video, and I think this hat will fit on that head because these heads are quite small and the reason why I'm not using these heads is because these are on a ball joint you can see that there and uh, well I'm putting them into bodies that don't have ball joints so we're gonna have to fool around with that I'm gonna use this guy's uh, chest for Captain Eagle, you can see he's got a bad crotch here, and I'll never find that crotch, and it'll probably cost me more than the figure's worth. So I'm going to be using that. That head looks interesting. I might have to use that head in another figure. He kind of looks like a welder, if you know what I mean. And then, of course, we have to cut these he hats off, and we'll be using this head. So let's get cutting. Now, this Dremel, unlike the one that I have at home, this Dremel here at the shop has way thinner cutting wheels, which I think will be better. And uh, I think, and th that's the reason why I wanted to use the bandsaws, because the bandsaw will cut really thin through the plastic. And um, anyway. <laughs> These heads are made of more of a rubbery plastic, so I should be able to use my nippers and cut the rest of that off. Save my fingers from getting nicked. <laughs>
And then I'll do what I did with the rest of them with a series of files and sandpaper. I'll sand that down flat and then fit it on someone's head. All right, Stalker, your turn. I don't want to ruin that ball joint. I did that on the flint. He's got no hands anyway, but I didn't want to ruin it on this guy because he could be used as a custom if I decide to ever do customs in that four inch scale. So he may come in handy someday. Since I botched up that other hat, I'm going to be using this Jurassic Park figure. This hat on this guy is quite small and I think it's going to be a perfect match for these three and three quarter o-ring figures that I'm trying to make so we'll try that out. First I gotta cut it off. I've managed to get all the parts that I need, except for one thing. This, uh, this vest here that we have, I'm gonna use this for a different figure that I wanna make. This would be a good vest for Red Wing, the Native American. So I'm going to take this vest off and I found a scoop. I had an extra scoop in a bin somewhere and he's in great condition. And he's got the little peg here, but I've got, I already have a complete one and I really want to use his vest or his upper body because it has the binoculars on it, which is great. And I'm going to use this chest, remove that camera off of this chest. And uh, that will be the chest for Captain Eagle. All right, so I'm going to do that. But you can see here, I have, this is a general flag hat. And uh, I had to cut this guy's uh, hat off. I showed you that earlier. And that, he's got a really big head and this is a really big hat. So that's gonna fit perfect on him. And then we have Wild Bill here. And I cut this off. I showed you this earlier. I cut this off of a Jurassic Park figure. And I'm going to put that on his head right here. This is a spearhead head. And I'm going to put that on there. And I'm hoping I can heat this up and bend that hat up like that. Oh, and I'll show this figure too. We've got this figure. So he's got a glove. I'm going to paint this all gold on this arm here he's quite muscular <laughs> so i'm going to be painting this arm gold too so it looks like he has a sleeve and a collar here now this collar was from not sure what figure it was from but it had uh 
it had spikes on the collar, so I sanded those spikes down. We've got uh, legs from a core figure and the hips. We've got the head from a modern flint. And we got the boots from a modern green shirts um, figure that uh, apparently they didn't screw those together. They just glued those legs together. And, uh, well, I had to cut the upper legs off in order to get these boots. So, But I think these boots look really good. I like the looks of those boots on this guy. He looks really cool. But I think changing up his chest with that will actually look really good. All right, now we have to fill that. I did have that in mind that perhaps that might be the case. So we're just going to fill that with some of this um, plastic JB Weld, plastic weld. So uh, just take a piece of this off and uh, we'll mix it and fill that gap. Let that dry all day. And then, um, then we can sand it and... We'll sand it and then uh, shape it. All right, that looks pretty good. We'll let that dry and uh, then we can sand it and paint it. Now I'm gonna use a different bit on this Dremel and uh, I want to make his boots more like this, more like cowboy boots, how they're shaped in a V in the front and the back. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that with these. They don't really look like cowboy boots. But I'm hoping that I can take some plastic away here and make a V. It might work out. I have other boots that I can use in place of these. 
But let's try this out to see if we can make that happen. All right, I got the boots shaped the way I want them. They look more like cowboy boots now. Now I'm going to take all these guys apart and uh, paint them. All right, the figures have been painted. Let's just take the masking tape off and reveal what we have underneath. Now the parts for this figure I have, he's got some kind of camouflage or tiger stripes on his uh, face and there is like a varnish over top of this black paint and I need to get that off. So I have to scrape the varnish off first and then I'm going to scrape the black paint off underneath. And then with a little bit of 1200 grit sandpaper we can shine that back up. So. I'm going to do that and we'll see what we get. So that looks pretty good. I got one more stripe on his forehead. I'll take that off and uh, then we can go on to the next step. Next I'm going to paint some black using this Humbrol enamel black paint. So we'll do all the black with that.
All right, I have a cup of boiling hot water here, and I have a rubber hat. And we're going to see if we can bend those rims of the hat to make it look like the Eagle Force figure. So let's try this out. I'm going to leave this in for about 30 seconds. should be hot enough. It's just rubber. It's not really hard plastic. And uh, we should be able to bend those. I'll let that sit for a few minutes out of the water and let that rubber cool and hopefully it'll stay in shape. So as you can see here, after a busy night of doing all that black and the gold yesterday, and I even got some black on General Mamba. And uh, now we have to come up with a color for this guy here. I really don't like this green or brown green, whatever it is. So I'm going to perhaps just pick a color that's more like either a, a green or a brown. One or the other that's kind of more brown than this or more green than this. I think, I think a brown will look good. I do have his hat here. I uh, painted the visor of the hat. And uh, I might actually go with this color, and that'll allow me to not have to worry about um, painting this hat a different color. I'm going to start mixing some paint, see if I can find a color that I am going to like. I wanted to show what this looked like. This is the body that had the camera on it and I cut the camera off and then filled that in. It's not bad. You can see some marks from my file. I should have probably, I actually did use um, sandpaper, but that'll be fine. It just looks like molding marks. So we're gonna do that. I managed to get all of the Tiger Force it looked like Tiger Force, but he had like camouflage, like Tiger Stripe camouflage on his arms and on his face. We managed to get that off by scraping it off. I tried alcohol, 99% alcohol. It worked, but it took forever. Here's the two paints I'm going to be using for mixing Mamba's colors.
So I'm going to mix those paints up to paint this arm because as you can see the arm is a different color. Okay, I'm going to let all that paint dry for a few seconds. That was a lot of painting. And then I will, I'm going to put a cover on this because I want to keep this shade of brown because I don't want to have to recreate it because I need to paint the top of the cowboy hat. Um, but I have to let this dry first. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this hat to the head. And I'm also going to be gluing this hat to this head. So I'm going to let all this dry for a couple hours. I'll come back and we'll do that.
Okay, all of my painting is complete. Uh, the eagle came out really nice. Um, I still think it looks like a hawk because of how short the neck is, but it's going to do the trick. And I think it looks really, really good. Let's take a quick close-up look at that. It's going to look really, really good. So I've got that all ready to go. I'm going to put all this together. I've got two more things I have to do. I have to make an eye patch for Captain Eagle. And I have to make some pouches for Wild Bill's chest. So I'm going to get all these together first. And then I'll reveal at the end. I do have some weapons to kind of go through. I think I found some weapons that I'm going to use. And I also found a grenade launcher for uh, one of the figures in my last episode. So we'll take a look at that. So I got all his pouches on. This is what he looks like. Not quite what I was going for, but I think it'll do the job. I ended up finding this old red scarf that I had in my kind of drawer of stuff. I could either use one of these tassels here as the scarf or cut this, but I, from what I can remember, this frayed quite a bit when it was cut, but I think maybe for a small scarf, this might work. So I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna cut some pieces and I'll cut a piece of that tassel and we'll see what looks best on Wild Bill. So our figures are complete. I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. There was a lot of work with these figures. A lot of things we had to do. We've got Captain Eagle here. You can see his patch and his binoculars. And of course he's got that glove so that his eagle can perch. So we'll put that on there. And there we go. Looks really good. He's got the correct pants. And he's got that gold uniform. So it looks really good. If I was to do him again, I probably would make the binoculars and give him a different chest. I don't really care about that chest. I think Wild Bill is my favorite figure I made. He's got the soft goods cape and the 
cowboy hat and the cowboy boots. I think he turned out really good. We have General Mamba. And if we look at him close up, you can see the paintwork we've got. I do like the color of his uniform much better than the original poop brown figure. And I do like the extra details I put in there with the red stripe on the hat. And uh, we've got the gray collar here. So that looks really cool. Now, we have to arm these guys up. I'm going to give General Mamba this gun. Now, I tried to find guns that are similar to what the original die-cast figures had. And even though those weapons were figures, weapons that G.I. Joe did make, I don't have extras, and I'm not taking those away from my original uh, vintage G.I. Joe figures. So we're just going to be using these. So for Wild Bill, I'm going to give him this weapon. I think this looks really good, so we'll give him that. That will fit in his hand really good. There we go. And for Captain Eagle, I'm going to be giving him this backpack here. And I'm going to be giving him this Uzi. I think he needs an Uzi. So, so these guys are fully articulated. You can articulate them just like any vintage G.I. Joe O-ring figure. And that's fantastic. They're going to look great in the collection. future thanks for watching this episode of toys bag zen i'm having a really good time doing these custom figures we've got eight figures we've done so far we've got 10 more to go and i'm having a really fun time sharing what i've learned and what i've been doing i haven't done custom figures in quite a long time so i'm learning a lot i hope you've learned a lot from this please like and subscribe if you haven't already and if you have subscribed to me or you've been a subscriber for a while i really appreciate your support i'm hoping that everybody is enjoying this series i know i am and it's getting better and better as i go along i feel i feel like i'm getting better at doing these custom figures and i'm getting a little bit more into what i'm doing with uh drumming and changing the 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 figure shapes and the the parts and stuff like that leave a comment down below and let me know out of the eight figures i've done so far which one is your favorite i think my favorite is goldie hawk so far so take care and I'll see you on the next video.